Well, hey guys, welcome back. And if you're new, I'm so glad you're here because today I did a recycle on some lamps that I had. Now, the lamps were getting a little drab looking and I wanted to do an upgrade. But as you know, when you go buy a new lamp, sometimes they can get really pricey. And this is what they look like. They're in really good shape. As you can see, the bottom has a really pretty crystal acrylic to it. But the lampshade was looking a little drab and I wanted to make it look fab. So instead of spending money, which I didn't want to do, I went ahead and upcycled them. And this is what they look like before and this is what they look like afterwards. And I did add some crystal um, chandelier crystals on the bottom of it. And I'll show you that in a little while. But do these not look gorgeous? Absolutely. So we're going to go into it right now. So I ordered these. You can actually get these in a lot of the core stores now or you can order them online. Um, I went ahead and ordered these on Amazon and I got the jump rings with it too. I also have some throw wire, a lot of people like to call it picture wire. You can get this from any Michaels also or maybe Hobby Lobby, I got it from Michaels. And I have those shears but you can also use scissors because those um, are very pliable. And I also have this really pretty removable stick and peel wallpaper and it's just gorgeous. When I ordered it I had no idea that the texture was that pretty. So what I did was I went ahead and measured my actual lampshades and then I went ahead and measured that on the back of the peel and stick removable wallpaper. And as you know wallpaper always has measurements on the back so you can always get the measurements exact. So I went ahead and I measured three times so I only had to cut once. And then I removed the peel and stick from the back. Now by the way this removable wallpaper if you don't like it you can always go back and change it so that's the really great thing about using this wallpaper. I tried it it's it's gonna stick well enough so you don't have to worry about that so it'll be great and I'll put that in the description bar below but you know all lampshades have a seam on the back this one of course does too I just covered it up and I will have a seam when I get done with this but that's fine you guys because like every lampshade has a seam you're not gonna see it you're just gonna turn it to the back then I went ahead made sure that the top and the bottom were even and I just went ahead and started smoothing it out and it was really that simple guys and it doesn't take long at all as you can see I'm just making sure that it's level and I'm just gonna go around it and come back so you can see I'm done it took about mm, three or four minutes to get it really nice and smooth but it looks really good and it lends itself well with that acrylic on the bottom and there's the seam I was talking about we're just gonna just like I said face that to the wall once we get it all done and put it in a room and style it now we're gonna go ahead and get the floral wire you can use picture frame wire also just make sure it's pliable you're going to measure the length of the actual lampshade and then double that because you're going to be stringing your actual chandelier crystals onto it now when you do this make sure that you add an extra inch to an inch and a half because you want your crystals to actually lay you know hang lower than the actual lampshade so I doubled it and then I added on an inch and a half because that's how much lower I wanted mine to be. And that's basically it. So I'm going to take my jump ring. Now this came with the crystals. It doesn't always come with the crystals. This is what it looks like. I just happened to get lucky. There's a little hole at the top of the crystal. You probably can't see it good on the camera. But I'm stringing it through right now. And then I'm just going to go ahead and once I get it all the way through, just make sure it's secure. And I'm going to get ready to go ahead and string my floor wire through it. And it's really that simple. Now when you string this through, make sure that both ends meet and that they're even at the end. And it's really that simple. Then you're going to go ahead and twist it and secure it. And as you can see, it doesn't take long at all. Now this is what it's going to look like when you have all of them done. I have 24 of them because I'm going to put 12 each on each one of my lampshades. And the way I'm going to do this is that the top of the lampshade, you see the hardware that's constructing it and holding it together, you're simply going to just tie it on to that. So this is a really easy DIY. Just make sure that when you're tying it, that you're, you're basically paying attention so it will be even and they're all more or less, you know, the same level. Now mine might be a little bit off, but I love the way it looks, guys. <laughs> So this turned out great and I saved a grip of money because like I said, lamps, lampshades, you name it, they get really expensive especially when you have a specific look that you're going for. These look very high end and they didn't cost much at all. 
I'm going to leave all of the information in the description bar below for the materials that I use if you're interested in doing this and saving some coin. But I absolutely love the way these turned out and the texture is fabulous. So I like this a lot. I hope you guys do too. If you do want to see more DIYs like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. And also give it a thumbs up because they help out our videos so much. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys become a part of my family. Stay safe, stay well, keep your head up, and I'll see you guys next time.